I've been driving the S2000 for about a month now and I absolutely love it, but we have a few problems. Not just that it is way too small to fit all of our Hot Wheels in here, but we have a few real problems. And we're gonna get a couple of them fixed today, but I don't know about the other ones. So let's do this thing. Oh shoot, I did not think this through. So one of the things that are wrong with our S2000 is that she is absolutely dirty. I mean, just look at that. That is completely my fault. She has been neglected, but we're going to get that fixed real quick and I can do that myself, but we're here at Les Schwab. We're going to be getting an oil change and an alignment. I took the car to Big O Tires and they said that the alignment was atrocious. So we're going to get that fixed right now. Now my Uber has arrived just on time and I've kept them waiting. This thing is nice. Hello there. Wait a minute, Ty. Ryan. I didn't know you worked for Uber. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Is this your car? Welcome to the day of a 8080 content. Dude, record. you got the vacuum in here? Dude, what? Dude, I got everything in here. Is this your car? Dude, congratulations. This looks Thank sick. You, bro. I'm gonna sit in the front. Come on. Dang. We're doing a day in the life of an 8080 content creator. Ah. Well, I'm getting my car fixed. This this is this is a day in the life. We always have our cameras with us. We're just like camera guys. That's all we do. Who's gonna battle it out? <laughs> well, I don't have to drive. I'm I'm your passenger princess. <laughs> Dude, this thing is sick. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank man. you, bro. I appreciate you. Your car is sick. Let's head to should we get coffee or head to 8080? Um to I mean we got some energy drinks there, so That is true. I think I'll just have some energy drinks. But if you want to stop for coffee, we can. Let's head straight to 8080. Let's do it. All right, let's go. And here we are. Hey, nothing's crazy. Well, I just got off the phone with the guys at Les Schwab. Sorry, that car is so loud. I just got off the phone with the guys at Les Schwab, and they said there's practically no oil in the car. So that is not good. That's not good because we have driven it a decent amount. Also, our alignment was absolutely horrendous. Needless to say, the Honda S2000 has a few problems which we did not expect to have, which kind of sucks. So hopefully the low oil isn't that big of an issue. The guys at Les Schwab are definitely taking care of me. They got the alignment all done. The alignment was atrocious. They like their first reaction was like, are, like, have you not felt your car pulling? Which I haven't which is a good thing. So they're getting all of that fixed, but Paul and I are gonna go out, take some pictures of this Lamborghini Huracan because that's what we do for work. So this thing is absolutely amazing. We'll see if Paul can drop me off at Les Schwab to see what the damage is, but let's go do this thing. All right then, Paul, thank you for the ride. You got it, dude. I'll see you in a little bit. See you later. So Les Schwab did a quick job on this and they did a good job, but there was only one quart of oil that came out of this thing. There's supposed to be five that come out. That's, that's ridiculous. There was one quart of oil, so that's not good, but it, it's good now. So I'm so thankful for Les Schwab and people that know how to do things that I can't. I'm glad that she is doing good. Now, I know you guys may not notice, but I have noticed a night and day difference with driving this thing. It's just so much smoother. This thing really needed oil. Oh my gosh. This car is so neglected. I, I am the worst Honda S2000 owner. Now that she finally got her oil change, which should have been done long ago, we also need to get spark plugs, which is very important. So hopefully we can get that done very soon. But one of our biggest problems on the Honda S2000 are wheels. Oh my goodness, look at that fitment. That is horrible, absolutely horrible. So I think as of right now, for a temporary fix, we're going to be putting some spacers on here, but we wanna get some wheels. So if you guys have any recommendations for wheels, comment down below, that'll really help me out because this thing really needs wheels, at least spacers for now. Like, just look how bad that looks. Now for another thing you may have noticed, we have a soft top and there are tiny little holes in that, which we do not like, especially when it rains. 
So it's not on the top of my list, but it needs to get done. Also, another one of those things that needs to be done is a paint correction. Now, of course, my paint is just disgusting right now. It's super dirty, but I don't know if you can see right there. There's some scratches. Those are all over the car and we need to get that fixed. Again, not the top of my list, but it needs to get done. Now, I haven't shown you this yet, but Casey found the Honda emblem and he put it on there. But I'm gonna show you a clip of the little surprise he left me. I should just wash my whole car with alcohol. Shit. <clears throat> Oh my well, goodness. Yeah, Brian. It's a Honda. What was it before? It was a no-named mystery vehicle. Okay, you gotta look away. Turn around. Okay. I'm covering my eyes. I'm looking away in case he has a mystery badge. You have to leave this on. I have to leave it on? You have to. Does it say Appy? Like it'll be H A P P Y? No, it's nothing like that. But... Oh. No, that's just happy. Happy's okay. That's not bad. Okay. Already. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. It's a Honda R, boy! I'm gonna leave that on there. <laughs> you can put the GT above it. <laughs> a Honda GTR? That's pretty epic. Now, this is a base AP1 Honda S2000. It is not the R, but we got that off of a Nissan GTR over at 8080. And as you can see, we do not have a plate, but we got a very special plate, which should be coming in the mail, hopefully, because that little window right there, that's where my temp tag was. And as you can see, it's not there. So hopefully I won't get pulled over by the time that gets here. Um, but let's hope we have some plates here soon. Now, as for modifications under the hood, we're not going to be doing any of those quite yet but it is something I wanna to get to in the future. So if you guys have any ideas of what we could do with this car, no matter if it's cosmetic or performance, let me know because I'm excited to continue building this bad boy. But as always, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit the notification bell, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.